Welcome to Background Screening Tips and Tech. I'm your host, Tim Santoni. Today, I wanna to discuss the current state of social media screening. I think most employers would agree that they want to protect their businesses from hostile situations like harassment and bullying. I think employers wanna protect their employees, clients, and customers from potential violence. Employers are keenly aware of negligent hiring issues and lawsuits, and I believe that employers are concerned about the risk of bad publicity and the reputation of their brand. All of these risks that I have mentioned can be mitigated by conducting a robust background check that includes a social media report. Despite all of the buzz about social media screening, I'm not hearing that employers are begging for or demanding a social media report from their background screening provider. So why is this the case? Let me start by sharing some statistics that I have dug up. According to a career builder survey back in 2018, 70% of employers claim to use social media to screen candidates and 57% of employers said they found something in their social media search that caused them not to hire the applicant. The survey is a bit dated, so I would guess that, that more like 70% of employers are using social media to screen employees today. The method in which employers are checking social media is the big question. I would guess that this survey didn't ask employers to state if they did their social media screening search through a compliance solution. According to a recent report published by LinkedIn, there are nearly 200 million LinkedIn users in the US. This means that if you want to see the employment history and connections of a candidate, you're almost guaranteed to find they have a profile on LinkedIn. It's a click away. It's easy and it's very useful to HR professionals and hiring managers to see this type of information. In my experience, most employers are typically conducting their own searches on social media, specifically LinkedIn, and can do that, do so without detection. So the trend will continue as there haven't been any crazy cases where an employer was sued for checking LinkedIn and then not hiring a candidate. So why are more employers not working with a screening partner that has a social media screening solution that is FCRA compliant? I think it is because the review analysis of what is found in a social media report is very subjective in terms of using it to make a hiring decision. Also, if an employer elects to conduct a compliant social media report, they can only have visibility into public facing profiles that are on the five main sites, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Social media screening is something that many people in the screening industry claimed would be the new search that everyone would conduct. There were predictions that a compliant social media screening search would be something that would get mass adoption from employers. In my opinion, there are some challenges and concerns that employers must deal with when adopting a compliant social media screening solution. The social media reports use advanced AI solutions to pull back images and text that contain keywords and phrases that are deemed risky like insults, bullying, obscene language, hate speech, political speech, threats of violence, self-harm, drugs, alcohol, violent and explicit images, and other keywords that an employer would like to add. Based on the findings or lack thereof, a score with risk factors is presented. I don't think employers know how to use the report and score to exclude an applicant. There are also potential risks with using the information as part of a hiring decision. In an industry filled with lawsuits, the fear of the unknown as it relates to social media and hiring makes HR professionals very uneasy. Another point about why social media reports are not being adopted at scale comes down to the added cost associated with search. While the AI and technology used is bringing the cost of the social media reports down quite a bit, the added cost, while it might not be minor, impacts the budget of an HR department. At this point, we are seeing social media reports being offered at $15 to $30 on the retail level. Once the price gets under $10, I believe it will be more attractive to HR professionals. Okay, now if you're looking to connect with a partner to handle your social media background reports, there are two main players you should know about. First is Social Intelligence, which was recently acquired by Fama. They have been around for several years and have integrations built with the main platforms in the industry. The other is Fairly, and this is the solution that I am most familiar with. Fairly was founded by Darren Lipscomb, who I interviewed on this podcast. Check out the episode if you missed it. Fairly has the backing of many industry veterans like Dave Dickerson, founder of Accurate Background, and Jason Morris, Employment Screen IQ founder, amongst others. They offer basic search and analyst assist, which is a great feature if you're new to the social media screening space. When it comes to social media screening, here are my recommendations. If you're gonna do it, do it properly and compliantly. Have a written policy and centralize the process. Use a social media screening partner that understands and follows the FCRA compliance. Get consent from your applicants and candidates. This is a must, especially if you want to report on the findings and use the information from your social media screening report as a reason not to hire the applicant. Prompt applicants in the authorization disclosure phase to provide usernames and handles, not passwords, for the sites that they have profiles on. As I mentioned, the current sites that can be searched using AI and automated technology are LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Thanks so much for tuning into Background Screening Tips and Tech. Please leave your comments down below and feel free to share this podcast with your colleagues and friends. And please do consider subscribing. Thank you, and we will talk soon.